In today's episode, Daniel asks, how do I track PDF downloads and links in PDFs as goals in Google Analytics because PDFs don't let you put Google Analytics tags in them? Good question. And it's a common question because in a lot of cases, people who want to track, you know, did someone get this PDF, especially if there's no registration form? And for companies, particularly in B2B, a PDF download could be a valuable insight, such as someone get downloading a, a product sheet, a spec sheet, a prospectus, something along those lines. So you want to be able to do this. The trouble is, <clears throat> as Daniel mentioned, you can't put Google Analytics tracking codes inside PDFs. They will not, they simply will not work. So for the second half of this question, if you want to track links in PDFs, the, the easy way to do that is to use UTM tags. And we've talked uh, previously about them, but if you go to, if you have put together a spreadsheet like this, and uh, I'll put a link in the uh, Analytics for Marketers uh, Slack group to this, you would simply set up yet another line where the source instead of <clears throat> the, uh, instead of like what channel is from, you might want to put a PDF or the medium even, like a PDF um, or even a campaign, but whatever, just use a consistent ontology so that uh, when you put PDFs on your website and you put links inside those PDFs, you would just use um, uh, UTM codes. Now, <clears throat> when you look at the final URL, these are kind of messy. So what you might want to do is use something like Bitly to shorten that URL when you put the link inside the PDF to be able to track it out. But once you do that, then links in PDFs can be used to, uh, to pass data back to Google Analytics when they come to your website and, and do something. So that's the getting... Uh, tracking inside of a PDF that's going outbound to somewhere else. If you want to track the PDF itself, someone downloading the PDF, there's uh, you have to do two things. First, inside Google Analytics, go to your goals, and inside your goals, you're going to create a an event type goal. Again, because PDFs are pages that you cannot embed tracking codes into, <clears throat> you'll want to uh, set up an event based goal. So the goal set up in this case would be custom. The event type the description type is download pdf it's an event and then your details are these are going to be arbitrary make them whatever you want but be consistent so if it's a download like you're downloading a, a product sheet make sure it's that the action would be a click because someone's clicking on a link to a pdf and then the label i typically use would be pdf you can set a value if you know what the value of a pdf is uh, it's very difficult to, to measure that up front. So you can either set it as something arbitrary or just leave it blank for now, and you can always put um, uh, a value in Tag Manager later. So the first half of the, the solution is to set up a goal. However, you'll notice nothing here is a tracking link. So to the second half of this is you need to use Google's Tag Manager. And what Tag Manager is going to do is Tag Manager is going to detect that someone has clicked on a PDF link. Well, how do you do that? You're going to go into triggers, and you're going to set up a PDF click trigger, and it is a click on, you're going to track clicks. So uh, you want to track clicks on links, and the link type is going to be some links, and the URL of the PDF, uh, the URL that you're going to track on contains a .pdf extension. This is going to uh, track when everyone clicks on any kind of link on your website that has a .pdf. Now, if you want it to be very specific to just one kind of PDF, maybe you've got multiples and you only care about one of them, then you would change this to be like, you know, sample.pdf or prospectus.pdf. Um, whatever the case may be, you're going to set up that trigger and then you're going to set up a tag, which is the companion piece. Um, and the tag is going to use your Google Analytics and there's that event category. Let's go ahead and category, download, action, click, label PDF. It has to match what you've done here in Google Analytics. Make it match, set it to your Google Analytics variable, and then connect it to the trigger that you made, the PDF click trigger. So now what's happening is Tag Manager is listening on the website all the time. When somebody clicks on a PDF link, the trigger fires and says, PDF click just happened. The PDF trigger calls this tag. It says, hey, Google Analytics, uh, I'm telling you there's an event happening. The event is a download with a click action, and the label is PDF. Google Analytics listens for Tag Manager and says, I hear you. I'm going to register this as a goal and record it. 
And that's the process from beginning to end of how you would track PDFs. And by the way, this works for any media type. So it doesn't just have to be a PDF. If you want to track an MP3 that's on your website, maybe you have a podcast and you actually want podcast listens as a goal, you could have a .mp3. If you have a video that's native embedded on your site and it's not a YouTube video, meaning it's not hosted somewhere else, you've actually put the video file on your website, you could put that you know, .m4v or that .mov or whatever file, any kind of file where you do not have the ability to put a Google Analytics tracking code on the uh, within it, you would use this methodology to be able to track as goals uh, within Google Analytics. So great question, Daniel, because <clears throat> this will help you track all kinds of different files and types and things on your website and assign them as goals. One thing you're going to want to do later on is measure the impact of those goals. That's a, that's a, a video for another time. But by doing this, you'll have the information. So remember that any goal, any goal in Google Analytics is never retroactive. So uh, this only begins working the moment you set it up and turn it all on. Remember, by the way, one, one very common uh, mistake is to make sure that you actually publish your changes in Tag Manager. A lot of people forget to hit that final step and then make all these great changes and, and it never goes anywhere. So make sure you do that. Um, as always, Please uh, leave comments in the comment field, and please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and the newsletter, and I'll talk to you soon. Want help solving your company's data, analytics, and digital marketing problems? Visit TrustInsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.